Awesome. I think we're on. Hi, everyone. How are you? How are you, baby? Hi, Lou. How are you going? Hi, man. Good. <laughs> uh, so, welcome, everyone. I hope you've had an amazing Monday um, today. I know there have been many rants happening uh, today. It's always my favourite day is Monday. I just love the excitement of what goes on. I'm always on the phone. We're seeing what's happening. Um, I just love it. Um, so, a bit of housekeeping first. So, events, tickets. Have you got your conference ticket? We, um, I had a little bit of a sneaky look at the agenda that's just sort of uh, for a few of us to view, and it's so, so amazing. We're going to have so much fun and nearly weave my pants, uh, and I can't wait to get there. It's only another week in the, two weeks, I think. So um, get your tickets. If you haven't got it yet, if you're new to um, this business, you have to come. Uh, bring your partners, bring your husbands, uh, come and have some fun with us and learn and see what this is all about, what Mysterity is all about. We also have a few spots left for the VIP brunch. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a brunch that a lot of the diamonds are putting on. Uh, for people that rank platinum, and above for the first time uh, in their business and it's before the conference starts on Friday and uh, we would love to have some more spots filled for that so keep going. Uh, also the uh, cruise, so I know there are still a few more tickets um, available for that but not many so get your ticket, it's going to be such a fun night. Um, my husband's just gone and bought his white shirt, black tie to uh, spruce himself up. Also, the masquerade ball on the Saturday night. You need your mask. Get online. I know they have lots of um, party shops that have uh, masks that you can buy. And so, eBay. Yeah, <laughs> eBay, that's it. Uh, and, <laughs> and the training. So, you know, make sure you get your team to register for these trainings, these Monday nights. The Tuesdays, uh, which are the ones in the US that we can listen to on Tuesdays, but more importantly, the Australian ones, it's in our time zone. Everyone can get on to this. It's 7.30 at night now, uh, Queensland time, I think. Yes, sorry it is, and 8.30 New South Wales, if I'm correct. So, uh, And congratulations to all the ranks today that have happened. Um, I'm sure we're going to see plenty of um, congratulations coming through um, tonight and tomorrow. So super exciting. Can't wait to see everyone walk the stage at conference. So tonight I've asked the beautiful Lou Smith, who is uh, one of my team members on the Sunshine Coast. Lou is a super amazing woman. Uh, she's a great mother of three kids. Her husband uh, is FIFO, I think you call it. He works away for several weeks at a time. So uh, I know this um, is a lot of a juggling act for Lou, but she gets it done and with ease and grace. Um, and we're going to talk. Nice. <laughs> so we're going to have a little chat to Lou and just talk about you know how her business has um, gone from start to now um, and a few of the struggles and the highlights and all of that in between. So um, Lou, I know I first met you at a um, little presentation I did on the Sunshine Coast for Shay, one of your best friends, and I remember when you came in and you looked at me and basically we got introduced and you said, I only use coconut oil on my skin, and yeah. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of froze. I went, okay. <laughs> I thought she's out. <laughs> yeah. And um, anyway, by the end of the presentation, you were asking me for the form. So, um, yeah, super exciting to see you here now, yeah. and um, just share uh, a little bit about yourself with everyone that's listening. Yeah, sure. So you were right. I've met you and Abigail at Shay's place. So Shay and I have been friends for over 22 years. And, 
and she has seen me go through the biggest ups and downs with my skin because I am really quite highly allergic to a lot of things, um, mainly chemicals and um, anything like shampoos, conditioners, skincare, cleaning products around the house, more recently food. And um, when Shay said to me, you've got, to, you've got to come and have a look at these products, I think that you'll be okay with them. I was like, no, I'll be right, mate, but I'll come for the champagne. And, um, and so I ended up coming and, and what grabbed me was when you and Abs said with Skincerity that there's only five ingredients and the minimalist in me sat up and I went, okay, I'm listening now. And when you explained that there were only two ingredients that actually absorbed into my skin and I knew I was okay with vitamin E and grapeseed. I thought, I've got to try it, you know. So I did. I tried my first bottle from Shea and then I think within a couple of days I'd enrolled on the two bottle option <laughs> and then uh, I did that dreaded two bottle option uh, because I was not doing the business. I was quite happy being a kindy teacher. I'm a kindy teacher by trade. I love you know, children and the wonders that they create in the world and I was quite happy doing that and then all my friends started to talk to me about um, what I was using and what's that stuff left on your face and so I explained it to them and within a week I would bought 16 bottles of Skincerity and, and within a week after that I had shared them all amongst my friends and family and then I accidentally found myself doing the business and it is very true in saying that when you've got something you love and it works for you, it is so easy to share and that's all this business is. So yes I was only using coconut oil when we first met um, and then it was funny because I remember talking to you, I think it was two weeks later and I was like it's the weirdest thing, I keep putting my coconut oil on and sliding off my face and ending up on my chest <laughs> and you're like well it's because your skin's so hydrated and oil and water don't mix on your skin. I'm like duh, <laughs> of course, and then I developed an allergy to coconut. So luckily I have skin serity now because I'd be up shit creek without that pain, really. Like, yeah, so that's basically how it started and now I seem to be attracting a lot of people who have similar skin to me and similar intolerance, intolerances and people who just can't find something that works for them. Um, so it's really nice to be able to offer a solution. Yeah, that's right. I heard a saying today yeah. is, you know, um, we know it works, but our job is just to get it into people's hands. Like, that's all. we just got to get it into their hands, and once they use it, they'll understand that's what, it. what we're talking about. Um, I, so, I say, every day I say, just have a crack. Have a crack. <laughs> what have you got to lose? Have a crack. Um, so, um, basically, with I know there's been a journey with your business. Um, how have you um, found that urgency within your business uh, has changed the momentum for you? I know with the Blitz, um, it was quite extraordinary what happened with you through the yeah, Blitz. It was. So I think I ranked Platinum just before going to Vegas in the Blitz last year and that was really exciting. That was a personal goal for me to get to a um, conference in Vegas and then I kind of got excited and took my foot off the pedal like I think everybody does the first time and I didn't understand how important momentum was with this business and I think I eventually got back to being paid, uh, well not even paid, I was associate um, for a few months there and so I had to rebuild and it was only during the blitz, I think it was two weeks to go and I literally got to the point where like how much more can I do? I was um, educating the Sunny Coast teams, I was mentoring my team, I was prospecting, I was doing everything, I was presenting, I was spending so much time away from my family and not seeing anything happen. And then I kind of learnt some beautiful words off Eva and learnt some really good business skills off her, which we have. It is our success formula, we have it. <laughs> you got to do it you have to do your IPAs and I realized that I actually wasn't. I was looking after all the fluffy stuff to do with this business. I was doing invites and making them look pretty and managing our Facebook group and talking with people and not actually doing the IPAs myself. I was 
telling people, like teaching people how to do it for themselves. And then when I actually looked at what I was doing and the habits I was creating within my business, I actually had that light bulb moment and went, this is why I'm not going anywhere. And then I, you know, it was a very much a, I feel like quitting. I did. I was so close. I'm thinking, this is not worth it. Um, and then I guess it's all of that. There's always the largest issues and and hurdles and speed bumps that you get just before you break through and have success, and that's what happened. So I did all my IPAs, and it literally took two weeks, and I went from getting paid $30 a week to being ranking Ruby. And I've maintained that now, and it's just I've learned that you do not ever, ever stop. <laughs> Ever. And if you need to have two days off on the weekend, then you do everything two days before it. You've got to make up for that lost time, otherwise you will go backwards. So that was a really tough lesson, but I think for me personally, I had to do that hard road and it just happened to be 12 months of it, but um, I had to do that because now I really get it. I really get it and now I can teach my team how important it is just to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a five-year plan. You you know, you've got to work yes. that hard effort for at least five years for then to reward you as residual income. That's what this is about. So, yeah. uh, and the great thing is you can start part time and you build it up, um, and you can fall back and you can build it up. It's totally up That's to you. That's it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. what's the skill? people should work on the most to become successful in the business and I think you've just said it before. Well there's a few but I think I think the most important is just planning ahead, always making sure you've got something coming up for you yeah. um, but also there's a, there's a couple business wise always having something on the books, always being prepared for um, time slots that you can have launches, but then all pers personally as well. This has been the most personal growth I've ever gone through in the last 21 months. It has been phenomenal. Um, I was quite happy in my little bubble before Nicerity. I had like 27 friends on Facebook and I was killing it and I was really happy in my little womanhood. And, and then this came along and shook up so many beliefs inside me um, and it has been phenomenal to um, mm. juggle that and find who I am authentically as well because that's all changed what I thought I was to what I am becoming um, so I think you need to have some skills for the business but also personal skills and trying not to beat yourself up um, don't compare yourself to others everyone's journey is their journey and someone might get to Emerald in six months and someone might get there in three years it's completely okay whatever path and the speed that you take um, and that it's very unique to everyone and that you yeah try not to compare yourself yeah definitely and you're such a team player Lou so um, what does it mean to you with you know, linking arms with your team and everyone, I guess, in your serenity, because that's what this is all about, you know, linking uh, arms with people. Building the vibe <laughs> up. <laughs> you know, I think being able to share everyone's successes, um, it builds, it does, it builds vibration. We are all very connected with this because of the community that we have all created in Australia. Um, yeah. And sharing it each other's successes on Facebook and being connected within the team, lifting each other up when you're feeling a bit down or even, you know, as simple as answering questions. If someone has a question, if someone other than the upline answered it, answers it, it actually creates a tighter scaffolding system within wherever you are. Um, and that's what I really like about our community is that it is just so supportive and it doesn't matter who, where or what you are. Um, yeah. yeah, everyone's together and, and it is important to share the load. Sharing the load makes it yeah. more fun. Yeah. <laughs> it does. We like sharing. Um, so <laughs> with your team now, that I know that you've got some awesome, awesome girls in your team and it's really starting to and build. Me. And a boy. Oh, and a boy. Benny boy. <laughs> oh, and, and Basil. <laughs> so how do you build the belief in your people? I know you can't do it for them, but how how do you 
you know, build that up, I guess, in the beginning? I think um, what I have said to a few, well, well, to everyone is that initially you might not have your own story, um, which which develops your belief for the product, and so definitely borrow someone else's that you trust and that you know. And if you can share that with as much um, passion and empathy that you would if it was your own story, then other people are going to pick up on that as well. And so if you can do that um, to raise your belief with the products and then try and develop your own story, your own experience, because when you can teach from something that you have done, it's going to solidify that within yourself. Um, and that was definitely how I, I think, have have felt this year with my growth, that I have felt the demise of my business. <laughs> and I didn't like it, and I learned from those experiences. And then, but that gave me the fuel and the belief to, to keep going and trust in myself and trust in the company and the business and the opportunity that we have. So um, it's definitely learning from your own experiences and have something personal that you can apply everything to, whether it's the business. It is much easier to sell the business, to share the business when you are walking the walk. Um, I definitely feel that's easier now. Um, in the beginning, I would use you, Marlena, as my story and explain how you know someone could have a mainstream job and then slowly cut it, cut it down, and then increase new serity and work it that way. Um, you know, so it's it's just. Basically, if you can apply any of these beliefs to your own story and your own situation, you'll be able to develop a 10 out of 10 for sure in everything. Yeah, definitely. There has to be belief um, and even in yourself. Um, and I know yeah. a lot of trainings we've done with you, the one we did last time with the, I think it was the why, it was an awesome, I think a lot of people got a lot out of it. So, so let's talk a little bit about three-way calls and third-party validation. Um, yeah. how, does your team do a lot of three-way calls? Do you know, we are just, I learned the hard way with three-way calls. I was one of those people, I guess with how um, my business started, it started really fast and with Shay as well and we had to learn how to do everything quite fast from the start and we didn't understand the power of three-way calls in the beginning and so this year has been the year that we have really embraced three-way calls and the power of them and the third party. Um, so now with my team, um, you know, in the last six months we are definitely using, even if it's not an upline, just using someone else to be yeah. there. Um, yeah, who can be the endorser, who can be the person who delivers the information because it does. I'm, I'm the pure example of you don't listen to someone you love. <laughs> my brother used to tell me all of this fabulous stuff I should be doing with my body. He's a physio and it took me having to go and pay another physio to tell me exactly the same thing he told me and I did it. <laughs> so I have that knowledge. I have that experience and I know that the third party is the way to go. It doesn't matter if you know everything and you're a crown diamond, you still use the third party. So yeah. it's um yeah it's really important yeah. Did you find, do you find it? I know that you're and Shay and I have talked about this. Like you are so capable at everything. Um and do you find it hard to ask? I guess for help with you know within for the three way calls and help with your team because you are you're really capable. So you you can pretty much do everything. <laughs> and I guess sometimes when you like that, and it's I think hard. Step back and you know, let yep. the reins. <laughs> that's and that's been part of my personal growth this year. This year is that it's okay to ask for help, and asking yeah. for help is not a signal that you are failing or that you need help. It's just that this is our system and it makes it work so much more efficient if you actually do use that third party. And I think I know that in my personal life. I've just started asking for help because I have to be able to do everything with my husband away so much. I am the husband and the wife and the caretaker and the builder and the carpenter and the nurse and everything and I have to be capable for our family to survive and I've definitely carried that through to the business and I carried it through to my teaching position as well but 
um, with this business, it's definitely a big learning curve and it's okay to ask someone to deliver the information. It's not doesn't mean you're not good at it. It means you're smart. <laughs> That's right. It means you're smart because you're using the system. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, well, we just talked about the, the six-week blitz that we just um, sort of accomplished in Australia, which was massive. Um, yeah. And we know that you boosted your business beyond belief. What, what do you say, if we were to do another one, would you, what would you say to people to encourage them to actually get on the six-week blitz? Uh, if their why and dream is huge, then you have no choice but to do it. Honestly, it is the catalyst that gets your business booming. It's yeah. like six months worth of connecting and networking and following up and all of that concentrated in six weeks and it really can give you a good leg up and it's not something that you then stop. This is, oh, we haven't stopped, man. We have not stopped the outlet. It's going, it's going harder now than I think it did in the Blitz, um, which is which is good. That's what we wanted. But um, if you if you have big dreams for your business and you want it to either replace one income or two incomes in your family, you have to do it. There is no two ways about it. It will it will offer you so much potential. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, what's the first thing you do with a new distributor when they first come on board? Whether it's your, you know, your personally enrolled, um, yep. or, you know, a new member when you're helping someone that's also new. Yeah, we talk about um, with our mentor sessions. I always meet in person and go through the basics of their back office, their buy new charity store. Um, the back office of that, how to manage the emailing and their affiliates and all of that. Um, we go through all the quick links and I make them do everything. So I'm very much a kinesthetic learner and I learn from doing. And I guess my kindy teaching <laughs> has, learnt, has taught me that, that people learn best from doing. So I actually make them change their auto ship um, products and learn how to do that, go through a, like a half a dummy enrollment form. But we never, I never expect any of them to do any enrolling for the first four people. Um, it's something that, you know, I'm really quite adamant about that I don't want them doing it on their own just yet. I'll talk them through it. Um, but I like to be there with them to do that. So they're hands held the whole time and it doesn't feel so scary. Um, mm -hmm. We go through the university. And what I like to pick out with the uni is basically level one um, and two, but is the why, finding the why and your dream worksheet because I'm very much a vision board, put your dreams out there because you will align with them. Um, and and I've done that a few times with this business, so I know, you know it, it's definitely a good thing to do. Um, yeah. And then... Your pipeline to, to success, definitely I make them write down, I time them <laughs> and they have a couple of minutes to write their, write their list and I say you can get 200 people on your list and that is your dynamic working document and that will go everywhere with you and if you ever feel stuck and feel like you've run out of people, write the list again. But write it again. Don't look at your old one. Write it again and then compare them together. And I can guarantee you'll have people you've missed that really need to hear what we have to offer. And then um, I also get them to use the Intrigue and Invite webinar. So just because that's a scary thing. I think when you're new and you don't want to hassle and be the vomitron and, you know, like dump them <laughs> with all of this passionate information that we have. And I, you know, I've got a a lot of people are worried that they have to know so much because they see what we do. Like we've been doing it for a while now. I can guarantee I wasn't like it at the start. So yeah. just taking that pressure away from them and all they have to do is invite and intrigue them enough to bring them in front of the message delivered by someone else. Yeah. And What's your favourite way to intrigue and invite people? Um, uh, look, the quite... Um, Evan Flow way, 
the natural <laughs> way of it's organic and it just comes up in conversation. I struggle with a cold call or anything like that and that might be my big breakthrough next. Uh, but I very much just like the natural progression of conversation. So definitely leading with the relationship. So if you're catching up with any friends and you know that they are going to be fabulous at this business or you know you can offer them an incredible product that will help them with a the skin situation, lead with the relationship and um, go and catch up at the park. That's all I seem to do is catch up the park and play and have a chat by the swings about what we have to offer. <laughs> Whip out my skin therapy on ant bites on all the kids. Um, that's it's that kind of approach that I find the most successful because it's coming from the heart, and people appreciate um, yeah. the people who I meet appreciate that approach, and the, yeah. my team also has had good success with that too. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think people can see through someone that's not authentic and in yeah. there for um, to share. Not to, I guess, not to sell. We're sharing, sharing what we yeah, have. Yeah, that's it. Um, and that you're not catching up just to share what we've got. You know, you're actually catching up because you like that person. Yeah. You know, you might have yeah. a little ulterior back here, but it's not leading with that, and people receive that well. That's right. So I know that the Sunny Coast team is really growing. How important is it that you tell your team to get to the local trainings? But also the well now the uh, Aussie conference that yeah. our first time, but also you know international events like what do you say to them to make them well, you know the important? I think do you know for me um, the Monday nights this is like my extended family. I you know we we've been in here when I joined the company there were only two thousand three hundred people on a wholesale account in Australia and so the coast was so tiny and we met four people around a dining room table and now we've grown to our own boardroom um, and it has kind of felt like um, you know it's, it's been our baby and we've nurtured it and it's very much a, if you stay plugged in you'll always feel connected and you'll always have a purpose to keep turning up. If you try if you can't turn up, it makes it so much more difficult. You do feel very alone. If I've had to miss one night, I feel disconnected from the group. Um, yeah. So I think having that regular, persistent um, to trainings and presentations, you always turn up. You get to know everyone who's regularly turning up as well. But then the biggest thing for me with developing a belief in the company was definitely going to conference in Vegas. I needed <laughs> Yeah, I was having fun with everybody. I needed to see the founders and actually see what this was all about because to be honest, the whole American words and approach, it does seem it's been hard for me to wrap my head around. Because uh, it's so different to how us Aussies are, and I needed. I, I'm very much in person. I'm going to pick up your vibe, and I'll know if you're a good sort or not. And and that's what I had to do with the founders, so I could get a 10 out of 10 belief in the company and the business. And they really were creating a legacy for us. And so, yeah. what I try and explain to my team: this is where you will develop the foundations for a strong belief in the company. Like connection time with people, so definitely, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. I just love even guy. You're so looking forward to just catching up with everyone. You know, just hang, you know, you're hanging out, you're having fun, you're learning, you you're creating a vision, yeah. not only yourself but your team, um, and what's possible with this business. Yeah. Um, well, so see, my husband coming for the first time. So he's coming to conference and he hasn't even been to a launch yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, he's been yeah. my supporter and he really my hubby is incredible and he is away so much but he listens to me and he listens to my problems and he supports me one hundred percent. And for him to be able to see what it's all about now is really exciting. And that's my partner. You know, imagine if 
it was mm -hmm. you and this is your first conference that you went to, how that would make you feel as well. I just, it is really essential. You've got to feel it. So, we're getting close to wrapping up time. So, Lou, where to from here for you, your business, and your team? Crown Diamond. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we, might stop, we might stop at Emerald first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> stops along the way. It's a lily and we'll launch off. Um, where to here? It is going to be a lot of just keep on going. Do not yeah. stop. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We're just not going to stop. We're just going to go nuts. And it's really fun. It's so exhausting. And my children are going through some growth. <laughs> <laughs> themselves with having their mum out so much at the moment but you know we've well, I've taken a leaf out of Martin and Nathan's book and we really are talking about this business as a family opportunity it's not just mummy leaving the house this is this is what this can uh, provide for all of us and all of our dreams and goals and ambitions so um, it's yeah it's going to be not stopping mm. They all mean the same thing, but literally that's it. It's, awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to a couple of tips. So give me two tips that you can leave today's audience with. Oh, I should have written this one down. <laughs> I did. No, just talk from the heart. Talk from I don't heart. know. What do I say? Two that. things. <laughs> oh, um, two things would be. Uh, give yourself a break. Don't mm. beat yourself up. Okay. If something is, if you're not happy with what's happening in your business, then if you're blaming someone else, it's not going to get you anywhere. You've got to look at what you're doing and try and shake it up a little bit. Go back to the basics. Go back to whatever told me. Do your IPAs and do them solidly every day for two weeks and see where it gets you. Um, yeah. If you're having, and it's normal, it's gonna you're gonna have peaks and and troughs. That's normal in this business. And if you've had a really good run, just remember that you might not have such a good run in a little while. And that's okay too. Um, what's another one? I don't know. What's something I say, Mel? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I say so much. I get. Uh, I don't know. Come on. Getting yourself, staying motivated. Like, how do you stay motivated every single day? Uh, look, my my why is definitely what keeps me motivated. Um, yeah. Originally, it was to get my product for free like to earn enough to cover that and then when I saw the possibilities of it um, my ultimate game is to get my husband home that's yeah. that's what we need to do he's been away for five and a half years so it's time to have him home and I, and I just want to retire him you know I'm definitely he's done <laughs> his body does not need to do that hardcore job anymore so for I, I would absolutely love to be able to a thousand acre property and we can just cut sick. <laughs> That's basically my aim is to have my whole family together um, and yeah that's what keeps me going is my why. Even through my kids giving me hard time it's still the why. Definitely. <laughs> I'm such a big um, thing about being self-motivated like I always say you need to find the thing that keeps you going because no one else can do it for you. You are the yeah, only person that can keep your motivation up. Um, so you've got to find what it is, and that can be that's your why. Like connect to your why, yeah. and you wake up and have and a bad day. Yeah, and yeah, if you're getting your motivation from someone else, it's not sustainable. You know, right. that's when drop off and that's when you'll have those issues. If you have find the motivation within and get a strong enough why, it doesn't make yeah. a crap. Oh, yeah. It's you something have... that is going to motivate you through those hard times. Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, oh, it's been awesome, Lou, to speak with you. Thanks so much for coming on. 
I love you dearly. You're one of my favourite people in the world. <laughs> Talk a lot. Um, I'm really proud <laughs> of everything you do. You're a super amazing woman um, and Thank you've got you. an amazing team. So um, I can't wait to celebrate with you in Idani. We're going to have a good time. Yes. And well, thanks so much. So I'm going to end the call. Uh, um, I'll see you on Friday anyway, or Saturday, one yeah. day. One day. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, that's the end of our call today. Make sure you uh, register for next week's call as well. We've got the beautiful, I think, Lillian and Kim speaking um, next week. So that's going to be really amazing. Get your tickets. Uh, start your week out right. Get on the calls, the US calls tomorrow. Get your IPAs happening. Let's smash it out. We've only got a little bit longer to go before conference. How many more ranks can we get out there? Uh, I think there's a few to go. I have a little feeling that Nucerity are going to really pump out the promos for us, keep it going. Um, so I'm really super excited. Love you all and we will speak to you soon. Bye. Guys, Bye. thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I'm going to turn this off now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I, how to do it. I don't know. <laughs>